My name is Nandini Cossens and I work as a clinician at Pfizer. So as a clinician, I'm a medically qualified doctor and I also have a PhD in biochemistry, although you don't need to have the PhD in order to do the job. Um, I'm involved in helping to develop new medicines for patients. So um, I can be involved in the design of clinical studies, monitoring the results, making sure that the drug is safe um, and that it's working properly in patients. At school, my grades were actually quite mediocre. Um, I certainly wasn't one of these star students. Um, and for the most part, my, my teachers weren't particularly interested in me. Um, in, in fact, when I went for my careers advice, um, my careers advisor suggested to me that I should stop school at 16 um, and just not bother to study any hard subjects. So, um, of course, that it did make me question um, my own belief in myself, so, so that was probably the first obstacle that I had to overcome. More to buy time than anything else, um, I actually did apply to study a science degree at university, um, and still because I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do, but I knew that I liked science, and I, I passed my A-levels to the surprise of my teachers, um, and, and did actually go on and, and complete my degree. I moved back actually and lived with my parents for a year, worked in a toy factory um, and saved up some money and then went back to school and took a master's degree in biochemistry in London. Um, and after a year, I knew pretty much then that I wanted to do a PhD, so I then continued with my further education and, and did a PhD. After I'd finished my PhD um, and got that under my belt, I felt like I wanted to see a bit more of the world. And, and having a PhD is, is lucky in that research can take you to many different labs all over the world. So I applied for a research position as a postdoctoral research fellow um, in a lab in Montreal in Canada. Moving away from home and actually relocating to a, a completely different country uh, was an amazing experience. I would recommend that to anybody if they have that opportunity. Um, you certainly learn a lot about yourself, um, having to manage things on your own. You don't have that support network um, that you have um, back in the UK. You meet some incredible people. And um, I got to learn, I learned to speak French fluently, for example, um, when I was there, and also learned to play ice hockey um, somewhat badly, but, uh, but I can't get around a skating rink. Um, and even scored a goal, so uh, it was a great experience. After I'd finished my postdoctoral research um, and decided that I wanted to do something uh, more immediately applicable, more relevant to people and to society, um, so at that point I applied to medical school. Um, and that led me on, of course, to, to, be, to do my training and qualify as, as a doctor. Um, and that allowed me to actually combine all of the different parts things that I'm interested in just normally um, actually into a career and into a job and then that's led me to my current position as a clinician. My family were very supportive um, so they provided me I think with, with the fantastic basis of a, of a loving environment um, and obviously their belief in me helped me to believe in myself as well. Um, but obviously they weren't in a pos position financially to support me, um, so you know that, that had to come from, from me. But um, certainly they provided me with, a, with a, a very good family life and also instilled in me the importance of a good education.